the artistic process never stops. And for a photographer who keeps changing his mind, that's me of course, that is certainly true. For this reason, I never change a setting in camera that cannot be undone, especially if it can be done in post-production. I have a traditional photographic background. That is part of my soul. I have never found switching to the latest computerized innovation to be a comfortable experience. For example, HDR. There are notable exceptions, image stabilization and the electronic finder, which are worthwhile improvements and not just gimmicks. One day I will try pro capture and nighttime photography. The facilities are there, but not just yet. One of the most useful features on OMD cameras is the Super Control Panel. It shows the most commonly used functions from the main camera menu. I use this feature to preset my camera before a shoot. So let's take a closer look. To accompany this video, it is recommended that you download the full instruction manual from the Olympus UK website. ISO or ISO. For maximum quality, I keep the ISO value on 200, only increasing when necessary. There is no point in taking a well-lit landscape with a higher value, and Micro Four Thirds gives sufficient depth of field in most situations. White Balance Normally I use the presets according to weather conditions. This is important if saving to JPEG only, as Auto White Balance doesn't always get it right. Setting white balance is not important when saving to RAW, and if it is your intention to make adjustments afterwards in products like Lightroom or Photoshop. Changing the white balance from a JPEG image is difficult, if not impossible. The A plus or minus and G plus or minus provide fine adjustments to white balance. See page 52 in the full instruction manual for further details. Picture mode. I don't change these as much of what they do can be done in post-production and of course easily undone if it doesn't work or I change my mind. Flash mode. Redundant as far as landscape photography is concerned and not powerful enough for most interiors. However, see page 60 of instruction manual for more details. AF mode. Auto focus mode. Essential for spot metering. Establishes metering and autofocus points. Use arrow pad to position AF target. S hyphen AF, that stands for single autofocus, locks metering and focusing point when shutter button is half depressed. C hyphen AF, that's continuous autofocus, continues to focus and meter following a moving subject. You also have access to manual focusing, which detaches autofocus. Priority. Switched off. If autofocus and metering is not working as expected, check that this facility is not switched on. Metering mode. Usual selection and a bit more. You really need to experiment to see which is best for you. I prefer spot. Sequential shooting and self-timer. If your camera, for no apparent reason, starts taking multiple shots, this is the place to check. For normal use, it is set to single, but it does seem to mysteriously move at times. Access also for silent and pro capture. More settings explained on pages 46 to 48 of the instruction manual. Image Stabilizer Settings for both still photography and video. 
See page 53 of Instruction Manual for further details. Can be used with Zuiko lenses that have their own stabilizer, increasing their performance. Switching the lens stabilizer off also switches off the camera stabilizer, so be warned. Save settings. One of those refinements that I tend not to use, but useful when you have two cards. I use standard. More information on page 54 of the instruction manual. Image quality. Usual settings including RAW plus JPEG. Useful for photographers new to RAW files. Image is saved twice, but capacity of card is reduced. Aspect ratio. 4 times 3 is the standard. If, however, taking for YouTube, their ratio is 16 times 9. However, my images are also used for publishing, so I stick with 4 times 3 and then crop for YouTube. Color space. Much of my work requires sRGB. Highlight and shadow control. This can be done in post-production, so I don't lock myself in with this feature. Could be useful for photographers not intending to adjust images in post-production, but as the camera is intended for professional use, I would find that hard to imagine. Video image quality. See page 56 of Instruction Manual for Settings. I cannot see my setting in the list, which I found out by trial and error, the best way to be suitable for when I mix video with stills. The reason for its omission may be due to a firmware update not covered in the Instruction Manual. Button Function Assignment See page 66 and beyond of the instruction manual for detailed information. Maybe some fine tuning later for this feature. You may have noticed the P in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. This indicates that I am on, yes, program. On a shoot, I start with this setting, moving later to aperture or shutter priority. Don't forget that you also have program plus shift for quick changes. Program is not auto as many photographers think. This mode is fully customizable and very much underrated. The top left hand corner of the super control panel shows battery strength and Wi-Fi information. Recent OMD models now display a battery percentage that I have found to be accurate, especially on a shoot in Snowdonia when I forgot to take the charger. Wi-Fi connection requires additional software and the use of a smartphone. See pages 134 to 138 of the instruction manual for more information. The bottom of the super control panel also shows the aperture in use, plus shutter speed, exposure compensation and number of shots available. This may not be accurate if the image is compressed, especially JPEGs. I underexpose shots by minus 0.3 EV, an insignificant amount, but important. A well-lit landscape has an enormous dynamic range and it is easy to unintentionally overexpose clouds which become difficult to correct in post-production. This gains the photographer a bit of useful latitude without creating noise in shadows. It also adds a bit of oomph to the colours, removing that washed-out look. 
I do not expose to the right. Regard the main menu as something to peruse at home and not on a shoot. The super control panel, which is always displayed on my shooting screen, is excellent for getting started and making quick changes. The main menu is very complex and it caters for the way in which OMD cameras can be customize, something for which you should allow plenty of time. Choose a nice comfy armchair, a hot drink or something stronger and get set in. It is not for the instant gratification society. However, before you set out on your adventure, check reset, yes, reset first and activate to clear all other settings so that when everything goes pear-shaped you can start again. You will find it in the shooting menu 1 under Reset Custom Modes.